Good day everyone, we are here to present our 6th fieldwork. This fieldwork is about another type of differential leveling, the double rodded differential leveling. It is a method of determining the difference in elevation between points by employing two routes simultaneously. It provides a continuous check on the process of determining ground elevations while the work is in progress. The method is useful when there is an urgent need to undertake differential leveling in a short period of time, where no established benchmarks are available for checking results. This fieldwork aims to acquire and develop the skills of determining the vertical distance of a remote point by applying trigonometric and related analysis. To develop the skills of reading vertical angles using an eodolite or total station. The instruments and accessories needed for this fieldwork includes theodolite, leveling lug, chalks or marking pins, measuring tape, plumb bob, and range pole. Now, let us move on on how double rodded differential leveling is conducted. First, set up the theodolite at a convenient location and call it the point A, where the leveling rod and the remote point are visible. Note that the remote point is a structure of interest in which we want to know its height, for example, a tower. Before using a theodolite, make sure it is level and the vertical readings of a micrometer scale is at zero. Micrometer scale will be discussed later. Next, using the telescope, take sight at the topmost remote point, then read the vertical angle and record as alpha. In using the theodolite, Rotate the telescope vertically until you can see the top of the tower. Once seen, lock the vertical and horizontal clamps. Vertical clamps will prevent further vertical and horizontal movement. Vertical and horizontal clamps are seen here. Looking through the telescope, you'll see something like in the figure. Make sure to place the crosshairs on the specific point of interest, say the top of the tower. The focusing ring found on the theodolite can help you zoom in and out until the image is clear. Next, look through the eyepiece next to the focusing ring and you will see something like this. This is the micrometer scale. In here, you can see the letters V and H which stands for vertical and horizontal angle. Our interest in here is the V. To properly read this, the graduation or division should bisect the two parallel lines. If not, you can use the micrometer knob to move the scale little by little until the right position is reached. This part shows angle and degree while this part shows minutes and seconds. The longer line signifies 5 minutes and sectioned further into 1 minute divisions, and each minute is divided into 20 second sections. With this, the example rating is 32 degrees and 53 minutes. Then, take another side for the second trial. This is done to determine the precision of the observations. Calculate the mean of the two vertical angles or the angle of elevation of the specified point from the first station. After this, release the vertical clamp. Set the leveling stop or rod vertically near the base of the remote point with the rodman standing on the line of sight of the theodolite. Then take the level foresight on the rod to determine the height of the instrument. In here, the reading of the vertical angle should be 0. After taking all the needed data in station A, transfer the theodolite towards the location of the remote point and designate it as station B. Then measure its distance by taping it from its initial position. Record this as distance AB. From here, do the same procedure done on station A. After centering the bubble of the instrument level, sight at the same topmost remote point twice using the telescope and record as beta. After recording these two observations of vertical angle, calculate the mean. Level the telescope while at B and get the height of the instrument by sighting the same leveling rod near the base of the remote point, with the rodman still in the same position. Seen below is the rough sketch of the fieldwork. Analyze the right triangles formed to determine the height of the remote point. Also take note that this fieldwork will not consider the effects of combined correction of Earth's curvature and refraction. 
analysis of the figure. First, we'll determine the difference in elevation between the two setups A and B by using this formula. Difference in HI is equal to H1 minus H2. The value gathered in this formula will be your value in E. Next is to solve for x using the tangent function on the right triangle by using the tan beta is equal to h1 minus h2 all over x. After that, we will need to find the value of EF by finding the value of A, B, and x for us to analyze the oblique triangle AFD using the formula of AF is equal to AB plus x. Using sine law on triangle AFD will determine the distance of FD, which is AB plus X over sine multiplied to the difference of beta and alpha is equal to FD over sine A. Lastly, using the sine function on triangle FDG will determine the height of the remote point DG using the formula of sine beta is equal to height minus height 1 all over FD. Here, Height minus height 1 serves as your value of dg. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.